MovieWeb.com. Well, the story is based on your real life experiences growing up in Iran and Austria and France. And is this movie a hundred percent autobiographical, or is this a fictional story uh, inspired by your ordeals? I think the second thing is is better put because you know it's certainly not a documentary about my life and it's certainly a subjective point of view and it's certainly that when you make a, st a script you know the part of the storytelling we should never forget it so if it, I pretend that is 100% autobiographical that means that the dog looks like the dog that I drew that this thing that I said exactly I said this thing which which is not true of course is a part of of storytelling is based on my own experiences and then you know you have to make make a story i think even documentaries they are they are part fictional as soon as you you make a story you have to have some fiction otherwise it doesn't work yeah and what's uh, inspired you to create the persepolis graphic novels well, you know, that was really my answer to the words, to the world, because, you know, the two times that I left Iran in 84 and in 94, I heard so many crazy things about my, you know, Iran, you know, people, they were saying things, and I was like, this is not like this, this is not like that, and, you know, that is a truth, a reality that you see on the TV channel, that I don't say it doesn't exist, it does, but that is many other realities that we never see, so, you know, that was really to say, this, I will give you at least another point of view, it's a very personal one, it just engaged my own person, but this is it, and so that was the beginning, how I started it, and, of course, you know, I wrote it five years after I left Iran the second time, because, you know, I needed to have distance with the story. I didn't have to be angry anymore. I didn't have to have any violence in me anymore. Because, you know, you cannot answer to the stupidity by stupidity. You cannot answer to the violence by violence. So it's extremely important to take a step back and look at the thing. So that is what I tried to do, and that was the reason I made it in the first place. Now, how did the graphic novels then turn into a movie? Well, that was a mess because I never wanted to do that, and I always thought it was a very bad idea. I still do. Uh, that you know, it's not because you are a good cartoonist that you become a good movie maker, and that's not because something works, you know, as a comic that it will work as a movie. But knowing that was very good because I knew the danger of the project that you shouldn't make the ad an adaptation. We had a transposition. We have to really make it adaptation. That means forgetting about the book, taking the material, and turn it into a cinematographic language. But I made it because a friend of mine wanted to become a producer, and you know, and I was like, you know, I want to work with my best friend Vincent, and I want the studio in Paris, and I want this, and I want that, and I want Catherine Deneuve. And he said, yeah, okay. And then I was like, shit, now I have to do it. So that is how it started. You know, I'm, I found this film very uh, insightful in providing a perspective from an everyday Iranian's uh, point of view, uh, which is not common uh, in film. What was, was that the point to get uh, a, a woman's point of view who lives in Iran? It's not there? a woman or a man. You know, I, you know the fact is, is that I am a woman. I mean, if I was not a woman, I would be a man. It is a very personal point of view. Since I didn't want that to become a political or historical or sociological statement, I had to write it in my name. I had to put it on my name. It happens that I'm a woman, but it's a human point of view. And really, if there is one message in this movie, is the humanistic message is that human being anywhere is the same. And they have the right, the right to live because they have dreams, because they have love, because they have parents and kids, and the life of all of us worth something. And then we have to understand that the situation is not as easy as we think.